and let me just let me just keep reading because I'm editorializing a little bit too much. But um, actions to be reported include, but are not limited to. Target turns lights on to start the day. Target Target uses toilet or shower. Target exits residence. Target drives away. Target arrives at work or Target shops or visits any other establishment or location. Target arrives home. Target eats meal at home or in restaurant. Tar Target engages in sexual activity. Target turns lights off at the end of the day. Target turns light on in the middle of the night. Target travels out of town. I mean, so so that's why, um, you know, this, this program, you know, they will have neighbors involved who, um, you know, are are watching uh, what a targeted individual is doing and reporting that to a DHS Fusion Center, InfraGuard, or some kind of contracted stalking network. Um, and, and, you know, that's, that's why I think, I mean, a lot of people have other theories about this, but I'm sure that, you know, this is done by text messaging. So when you go out, like when I go out of my condo, the guy next door, like my, my electronics corpse team knows that I'm leaving and the guy who's next door, he knows that I'm leaving, and they will report it to a DHS Fusion Center, and the DHS Fusion Center can, uh, you know, track you and have people, you know, stalk you wherever you're going. And man, people are just, just texting on Facebook. I got it, man, I got to log out of there. I hate that, it's so annoying. Um, some of these observations will be performed by the Electronic Corpse, EC. So this manual calls the people, the people who are shooting directed energy weapons at us, they're doing remote neural manipulation, uh, remote surveillance, you know, through the wall, radar, and things like that. They're called the electronics corpse in this manual. Uh, but CBA should attempt to make and report as many detailed observations of target activity as possible. The reason such detail is necessary is that the punishment phase of active surveillance requires that supervisors customize each punishment action to match the personality of the target and the need to make each punishment action appear to be life's normal breaks um you know so um you know a lot of mm, facebook if you're logged into it you get every message that people are sending uh one important punishment function of surveillance is to sensitize the target targets are never told they are under surveillance or being punished Instead, close active surveillance and other activities happening far too frequently, frequently to be written off as life's normal breaks will eventually cause the target to realize they are under surveillance and punishment. As a community-based agent, CBA, you will be given specific instructions on exactly when, where, and how to carry out punishment actions. As long as you carry out punishment, punishment instructions exactly as given, there is no way the target will be believed if they complain and you will not be exposed to risk, risk of action by law enforcement. How well the punishment actions work depends on how accurate and complete your reports are in many situations. The control center, CC, acquires access uh, to properties or apartments immediately next to the target's homes or apartments. Because EC, Electronics Corps, has through-the-wall surveillance and punishment equipment, they will be reporting they will be reporting target activity along with community-based agents. In a typical setup, CBAs may be posted in a parked car where the target's home or apartment can be observed overnight, for example. So please, non-TIs, uh, you know, check this organized stalking manual out. This is actually something Dr. Ronnie Kilda was targeted, and she did. Uh, she was murdered by this. Like her body gave out from so from being hurt so badly by directed energy. She was the uh, chief surgeon general of uh, in in Sweden, so she was kind of privy to a lot of these goings on, and she was able to get her hands on this um, this manual a while back. So the manual they probably have a manual today that's a little bit different and more uh, more involved, uh, but this is uh, this is some you know just more hardcore proof. Um, you know, I could sit here, you know, and that's what I tried to do during the November video marathon, and I kind of need to do it again. Uh, just go through, you know, all the important things that are solid, solid evidence that this is happening. All the mainstream news stories, um, you know, all the manuals, all the uh, experimentation by the Army, and everything like that. And it's right out there for us to see in MK Ultra. I mean, this is obvious stuff. It's becoming more and more obvious every day. Um, so please, non-TIs, 
Like, read how, you know, please come here and check out this, this stalking manual and look at how paltry the things that they surveil are. Uh, you know, when we go to the grocery store, when we wake up, when we, you know, sit on the toilet. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, obviously, and this is some logic for you for you guys, and I know this is like common sense to, to many of us. Probably, probably I'm preaching to the choir. Um, but that's why we sound uh, like, why would somebody do that? Why are people surveilling you just when you're you know, in your home or something like that. That's because that's what this program is. Uh, it's complete surveillance and, um, you know, electronic murder of a target. Um, and, a, you know, many, many different angles of what they're doing. Consumer products, military, you know, uh, developing the weapons more, developing the weapons for law enforcement, uh, non-lethal weapons, you know, experimentation, experimenting on the brain and the nervous system, how it reacts to... Um, you know, negative stimuli in the environment, mapping the brain, you know, things like that. Just so many different things that they're doing with this, and it's so ridiculous, and it takes the rights away and the life away of the people that are surviving this. Um, you know, now, now, now I'm not saying that our lives are completely destroyed. You know, we are fighting this, and we will make it through, um, but it does destroy our lives in a lot of ways. It takes a lot of time away that I could be spending with my family you know, building my own family, you know, having a career. Um, I don't like doing this. I don't like talking about this all the time. And I'm sure a lot of, uh, you know, probably every other target individual does not like talking about this all the time. But we've got to stop this activity. And we're getting close. Um, you know, we're, we're getting closer and closer every day. What I like to explain it as, because, you know, I've made a lot of videos, guys, where I'm like, we're getting there. You know, we're getting there. And we are. The thing is that information is coming out at an exponential rate. We're hitting a glass ceiling with mainstream media, but things are really, you know, the information is increasing at an exponential rate. We are moving forward exponentially faster, exponentially more information. People are realizing this is happening. I just didn't realize how far of a chasm it was. I did not I, I did not see how corrupt our society was and how many sectors of society are shutting their mouths or just going along with this. I did not know that. Um, I was a little bit naive on that front, but as I go further, that's why it's like, um, you know, I have slowed down on the videos because, you know, I was like, man, you know, police are going to eventually fight this. People and agencies are going are gonna to eventually speak out. And we do, we have some great people speaking out like Karen Stewart, but she's the only NSA agent who has come out and spoken out about this. Um, a lot of people are staying quiet about it, and so many people are scared of it, and so many people um, you know, are actually just participating because they're like, this is just the way it is. This is, this is where the money is. This is where the industry is. Um, and, and so it was a lot, you know, I guess I, I thought a lot more of people um, you know, I, I really was just like in five years when this is out to the general public and they know that this is a fact, you know, things are really going to happen. Um, but I, I just, I underestimated um, the majority of society's willingness to go along with horror. I really underestimated it. Um, that's a sad, that's a sad statement, guys. And I'm not trying to bring anybody down. This is really good information. Um you know, very good information. Talks about physical sabotage. Talks about breaking into the home. I guess I'll go through some of these things because they're so paltry. I mean, these things are so fanciful. And so when, when you know, if you're non-TI and a, a TI is telling you, like a, a survivor of this non-consensual non, uh, non ex human experimentation or a target individual is telling you about some of these things, keep these keep this in mind. Here are some examples of sabotage a community-based agent may be assigned to carry out. Entering a vehicle or home and changing control in radio settings. I mean, come on. Like, people are like, why would somebody do something so, uh, you know, so small and so weird? But it's to let the, know that, let the target know that they are being surveilled, to intimidate them, to make them more stressed out. Because then all the other stuff is more, um, you know, the directed energy weapon torture, the remote neural manipulation is more effective. If they keep us in a, in a lower vibration, a lower state, more stressed out, more depressed. Um, replacing window washer fluid with water. 
possibly destroying the system in winter, scratching the paint on the target's vehicle, scratching furniture and valuables, tire sabotage from removing some air right up to slashing a sidewall if authorized by the center. I've had a lot of tire sabotage and a lot of scratches that just appeared on my car that were very weird. Um, simulating a break-in elect electric uh, window heater strips. Simulating a break-in electric window heater strips. I'm not, not too clear on that one. Cutting off the four-way flasher button. Uh, removing substantial amounts of oil, uh, transmission fluid, or antifreeze, but not enough to cause catastrophic failures. So just keep, they keep doing stuff to your vehicle, so eventually it, it uh, wears down the vehicle and makes it not run as well. Uh, moving things around inside the vehicle to show the target someone got in. Unlocking the vehicle and leaving it unlocked, possibly even with door open. Uh, small cuts to the car's upholstery. Unlocking the target's front or back door and leaving it ajar while the target is away, even at midnight at New Year for Y2 hour. Uh, moving furniture or carpets around fairly frequently to show the, tar the target someone was there. Stealing low-value items, especially items like scissors, which can be easily misplaced. Keeping them until the target replaces the item, then return the missing item, often in a place the target checked. Stealing important papers, um, stealing important papers, especially those which will cost money to replace. Stealing irreplaceable photographs. Uh, while target is at work, remove mail from their box and toss it around, repeatedly making wall pictures crooked. Uh, setting clocks to the wrong time, repeatedly dumping consumable supplies, uh, e.g. coffee, to make the target think they are no longer capable of managing their supplies well. And I've had that happen to me, like I'd buy a, um, you know, a, a big bottle of uh, Coca-Cola and it would be like at one-fourth the level when I'd only drink, I'd only drink one-fourth. It was like a three-fourths level. I get back home, and it's at, it's at, uh, you know, the one-fourth mark. And I'm like, did I drink all that? And I, I didn't because somebody came in and poured some of it out. I've had that with a lot of food items. Um, let's see. Uh, so repeatedly dumping. Starting small rips in new clothing, which are widened on repeated visits. Ripping crotches out of the target's underwear or stealing finest underwear, swimsuits, etc. Replacing clothing with similar items which, which are too small for the target, like for children what targets do not have. Ironing inside button flags over, making buttoning the shirt on top difficult. I mean, look at the, the, the paltriness, the, just the, the, the detailed nature of this stuff. Because that's that's part of the point of this is to when it when um, you know somebody experiencing experiencing this tells somebody who is not experiencing it it sounds insane uh, and that's the point of it like people are you know the people up top way at the top of the pyramid here um, they know human nature and they know what people will believe and not believe they know kind of. Um, they know what, you know, they, they know us, um, and so they know what they can do to, to hurt somebody and to hurt their life, where if you tell somebody, it's just going to sound, it's going to so, sound so fanciful that people are like, why would somebody do that? Like, why would somebody do that? And a lot of target individuals, we don't know, we don't, I mean, we, we know the protocol and that it is scientific, uh, you know, breaking down somebody's life. So we, we know that, but like little things are done to us and we're like, why would, that's so stupid. You know, on the conference calls and on the videos, people are like, yeah, they're, I mean, they're, these people are so retarded. They're doing all these little small things, uh, you know, coupled with very, uh, very huge things like remote neural manipulation, microwaves to the brain. Uh, and that's see, I think that, you know, I really think that the, the gang stalking, the, uh, the harassment is so that these huge things, the experimentation with directed energy weapons, the torture, that, that can be covered up. Uh, but just come check this out. I'll put those two links, um, you know, in the description. The, uh, the thing about ethical stalking, which is just insane. And we've got to call them and find out exactly what this stuff is about because uh, they're using too too many PC terms. I do want to say, um, well, I'll make another video about that. Um, yeah, I'll make another video uh, kind of talking about something else I wanted to talk about. Um, 
but yeah, I just, you know, I was, I, I made that other video about my bad.